Tonight in 7 News Flashback, when Joe Bjorki Peterson used police to shut down a play because of a swear word. The 1969 censorship tainted Queensland's reputation for decades. The, eagle has landed. The, eagle the same year America put a man on the moon, Queensland was throwing an actor in jail. Well, at this stage, we'll have a look at this very controversial scene. Meet Norm, a World War II veteran who offers advice to Pakistani immigrant Ahmed. Yeah, you've got to take the rough with the smooth. There's rat bags wherever you go. But Norm was about to teach Ahmed a lesson. It has been a real pleasure. Oh, put it there. Yes, I would like to thank you. <laughs> and with that, police pounced. Detectives um, clumsily and brazenly climbed up onto the stage to um, arrest the actor, take him down. Actor Norman Staines was charged with obscenity for using the F word. Joan, what is your own personal opinion of using the word? Well, I don't think the word is as offensive as the word that comes after it, the word bong. And that was the irony. The play was all about racism. But police didn't care about the word bong. It was the F word they feared would destroy the morals of Queenslanders. Actor Norman Staines was found guilty in the Magistrates Court. The Twelfth Night Theatre appealed to the Supreme Court and won. The Queensland Government then unsuccessfully applied to the High Court. Stephen Comino was the defence lawyer. He's now 80 and still practising. He says Queensland's reputation suffered. It just made us a laughing stock. But Joe wasn't finished yet. The police warned us last night that if we continued using the one particular word... The Premier took out an injunction to halt the play. Uh, unfortunately, it was heard in a judge's chambers and we were able to defend it and the injunction was thrown out. But that night at the performance, there were six police cars in the front of the theatre in Wickham Terrace and two or three at the back. Joan says it wasn't just the theatre suffering. You know, it was a strange time in Brisbane then. It was, there was a strange undercurrent of fear and Strange things were happening in the street. Police action here scared audiences away, but because of the Queensland authorities' heavy-handed approach, the play became a raging success everywhere else. It made it very famous, very fast, and it took the, it, the playwright with it. The man who wrote the play, Alex Buzo, died two years ago, but Norman Ahmed live on. The play is now part of the New South Wales Year 12 syllabus. Norm is now a Vietnam vet, Ahmed now carries a backpack, but the script is the same. People come out of the show and they can't believe it when they realise, oh, this was written in 1968? Nothing's changed.